Hey guys, today we're unboxing the GTX 1080 uh, Gigabyte, yes. So, uh, um, yeah, it's pretty, you know, standard, it's a founder edition, so it's not, it's gonna be basically the same as all the rest, but it's mine. So, I thought I'd do an unboxing of it with a few benchmarks afterwards I'll take. Yeah, so let's be careful in opening this. Oh. Yeah, the, the things on the box, you know, it's not too much, you know, it's got, I'm used to more information on these boxes, but because it's like a reference edition, it doesn't seem to have that much information. Compared to, I've never had a reference design before. This is my first one. Um, and I thought, well, I couldn't, I just, I'll get the other ones, but we'll just try this one first. Um, you know, exceptional performance, says it more physics performance, um, says it has G g-sync's capability but they've all had that capability um and virtual reality so yeah um and also it's it says the um the displays on it display port display port hdmi display port and dvi now the reason why they've still got hdmi is for vr that's the main reason they got it and also there are people a lot of people including myself who uh still don't have a display board monitor i will very soon but not right now so it's quite handy to still have that hdmi uh, so just the i don't know if you can pick it up on the camera yeah just about the gigabyte logo now i don't know how much development gigabyte do on this i don't know if um if they actually make it or just actually just get it off nvidia themselves and just package it and resell it across the world i'm not sure this is the this was um, the last GTX 1080 in the UK up for sale. They're all sold out at the moment, and everyone's going mental over them. So, you know, I'm not particularly huge on reference of designs. So, we'll get this out. Um, let's have a look at this first before I have another look at the card. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be one of those people, but oh well. So, the Gigabyte, another Gigabyte logo. Probably gonna have all the bits and pieces. I wonder, I really do wonder, I think they still will put a VGA adapter in here. Um, if I can get it open without breaking the box, bloody hell. Come on, come out gently. Yeah, that's better. So, do they put a VGA adapter? No, they do not. They are finally done with the VGA adapters. So you get a install disk and a quick reference guide, which is pointless and pretty much this is pointless as well, unless. No, it just has drivers on it. <laughs> okay, doesn't have any utilities on it. Anyway. Well, that was pretty wasteful for just this box. I mean. Wow, that's surprising. Maybe, maybe they'll, they'll have it on the non-reference. Maybe they're not allowed to put it in with a reference. Because again, I've never had a reference NVIDIA card before. I don't think. No, I haven't. Unless you count like the 260 as like a reference card all those years ago. Okay, so, ooh, that does look nice, mine. I remember seeing the original prints or the original like steel prints of it and a lot of people didn't like the card but this does look nice uh, qualified gigabyte card it says that it says, well, that's what i think it was meant to say let's try and peel this off carefully Ooh. Oh my god, this is a lot nicer than any card I've had before. I love the back plate as well. It's actually touching the, P uh, the PCB. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually touching the PCB. So there must be some heat dispersion from there. Also, it protects it quite well. You know, if you have it in the case and you have SLI set up, it's backplate like this would be very good as well. 
Um, some people complain about the bad plagues. They used to, you know, complain that people didn't have bad plagues. Now they are complaining that they have bad plagues. You know, I like bad plagues, you know, just covering up the components, protecting them. It's much better. Um, let's have a look at that fan. I don't know how well you pick it up on there, but let's see if I can get it a little bit else a bit better. That fan is very well impressed. It, it, it looks very impressive, like a well-designed fan. The heat sink on the back. It looks really, really nice. I wasn't expecting it. Let's see if I just get the focus right. That's a bit better. It's really nice. Again, I'm not one of those people who like go mental about the aesthetics of cards because you know I put it in the case, even though I got like a windowless case. You know, I don't go mental, but this is, you know, if you like design, they they do look nice. It looks better than the Titan one I saw. Um, so yeah, DVI, display bolt, display bolt. No, that that yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, display port, display port, HDMI, display port. And again, they have that HDMI for backwards compatibility and VR, because all VR units use HDMI 2.0, which that is as well. So, let's get into the benchmarks. Whoop, whoop. Okay, guys, today I'm going to be comparing this with my last card, which is the GTX MSI. Uh, 980 Ti. So, um, yeah. So let's first start off with GTA 5. So, with the 1080, I got um, 156 to 150, 160 FPS. Uh, with everything cranked up to the maximum, um, it was pretty impressive. This is at 1080p, of course. Um, whereas with my 980 Ti, I think I got, it was, uh, let me have a look, it was 115. So, you know. That's a big, that's a huge bump up there. Um, when we get down to 4K, it does, um, it, you know, it runs it at 60 FPS, um, the 1080. Whereas with my uh, 980 Ti, it got 41. So it's a lot less. Um, but again, at everything maxed out, well, not maxed out, the MSI was turned down. Um, that was turned right down, but everything else was maxed. And we're getting 60 FPS, which is really impressive. It is kind of, you know, it's, you know, it's just a 4K card in my opinion. Uh, but again, we'll get on to another benchmark. Okay, so let's have a look at my favorite game, The Witcher 3. Now, um, you know, I was very um, surprised at how much the gap between the 980 Ti and The Witcher 3 was. Um, everything was maxed up, um, except for Hairworks was turned off. So I got 105 on a GTX 1080 at, um, at 1080p, um, where my 980 Ti got about 81 to 82, depending. I, it just varied. Um, but yeah, um, at 4K, um, I got 50 FPS with a 1080 t 1080. Which, you know, everything maxed out except for how it works turned off, you know. That's, you know, I turned one or two settings down, I got 60 FPS constantly. Um, the 980 only got um, 37. So, uh, yeah, that was, it's, in comparison to the two, it's, it's an amazing leap, you know. One's, ne you know, nearly getting... Again, it's nearly 4K. It's it's for you know you could play easily at 48 FPS. Um, but yeah, you know I'm getting 50, and then if you just turned I turned down one or two settings, got 60 FPS. So um, yeah, <laughs> mad, mad. And then we'll get on to the last uh, benchmark. So for the last benchmark, I thought it'd be quite interesting to do what the new game that just came out was Doom. I thought, you know, everyone's going on about it, everyone's talking about it. So let's have a look at the 1080p settings. So, with the DCX 1080, I got 179 FPS. Yeah. Um, it was uh, ultra detail, wasn't the, the insane. Um, V-Sync was off. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> you can't complain. GTX, my GTX 1080 um, got 150, so the gap isn't as big. But it's still, you know, very impressive. 
So let's have a look at the 4K results. So yeah, I got 61 FPS on the 4K results. Um, average. Never really dipped below that. Um, I, even in scenes, you know, you throwing things around, exploding. Didn't see it drop down. Uh, when I run the when I run the benchmark on the GTX 1080, um, I got 45. So, you know, that's a big drop. Um, but again, you could say either big leap forward or big drop from the GTX 1080 Ti. Um, but yeah, I'm again a summary up now. I'm very impressed with the card, and I think, you know, I I. It is worth the leap from a 980 Ti. I am thinking of, you know, that's a recommendation. It is um, very impressive. I will be getting the GTX um, no, 10, 1070. I will be getting that now soon. So I will be benchmarking that against this and the 980 Ti. Just, I'm thinking there's a very high possibility that the GTX 1070 will beat the 980 Ti. <laughs> if that's the case... Oh, that is going to be an amazing value um, card. But we'll have to see. So remember, guys, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. And also like the video as well. It really helps. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye.